This is January 10th, shortly after 7 p.m. This is the Agricultural Commission uh, monthly meeting. So we'll start off with the acceptance of the December uh, minutes, which Laura has distributed. I think you've had all an opportunity to uh, look at them. Uh, can I have a motion to accept the minutes as presented? I move we accept motion. the minutes okay. as presented. Deborah Rolf has made a motion. Okay. Can we have a second? I'll second it. Okay. <laughs> Any need for discussion on the minutes? Hearing no need. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Very good. Thank you. Treasurer's report, Laura. Yes. Um, get to the right page. So I just got in. Ten dollar. Um, let's see. De yeah, December national grid bill was ten dollars. Um, and there was a $15 donation made to the community garden donation fund. So these numbers are a little bit off by that, but um, our, I've zeroed out our grant balance. Um, the donation account is $3,484.91 plus 15, so just over 3,500. Um, and then the budget would be $1,248.05. Okay. And that's, there was really no other activity. All right. On that donation of $15, uh, uh, did you receive it or Deborah, did you receive it or how did we get that? And I was um, I, a, thank, a thank you notice. Yes, yes. I received it and um, deposited it and then sent a thank you note to the gardener who had sent it as a, a gift around Christmas time and Great. thanking us for providing such a wonderful place to have a garden. <laughs> Terrific. Very good. Thank you for doing that. Okay. So you've heard the treasurer's report. Can I have a motion to accept the treasurer's report as presented? Motion, please. Somebody. <laughs> Where is Kevin when you need him? For goodness yeah, sake. I know. <laughs> I know. I know where he is. I moved it. All right, Deborah. Accepted. Thank you. Okay. Uh, okay. Motions are made. Uh, you have a second James, on that? James just seconded. James just seconded. Thank you. And I hate to all move right, more second when it's my James. report. So. <laughs> yeah, all right. I understand. Okay, so motions are made and seconded on the treasurer's report. Is there any need for any discussion further? Hearing no need, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Everybody agrees. Very good. Thank you. Moving on to incoming correspondence. Yes. Um, on January 1st, we got a notification from the town accountant about holidays and payroll and expense times. And there's a list of all the holidays for the year. Sure, we get this every year. Yeah, um, we do. And so since we don't, since we don't get paid, I don't think it's exactly. An issue for us. <laughs> I was just gonna say, I'm, I'm just putting it in the minutes so that it's noted that yeah. we got it. Very good. Um, and like I said, we got the ten dollar um, national grid bill for December. Okay. Fifteen dollar. So that was in the box, and then the fifteen dollar um, donation. Donation and a copy of the. Thank you, Letter. So thank you, Deborah. Okay. But that's it. All right. Very good. Anybody got any questions on that? Uh, any email uh, correspondence? Or yes. Aside from the you know, newslettery stuff, um, on December 20th, the select board sent um, the appointment of Eric Baum as alternate agricultural commission member. All right. Very on good. On January 9th, the select board sent um, notification about coffee talk with the select board on Thursday, January 19th at 6.30 by Zoom only. And on the 9th, they also sent out annual town meeting warrant is now open and closes at noon on February 13th. But I think there was a correction to that, which I haven't gotten in here yet, so. 
the clerk's just correct. had to do with the date of town meeting versus town election. Yeah, Didn't town election the, date was but, changed. Yeah. yeah. Okay, I'll I'll get that in there. Actually, have the, Okay. It came through this afternoon, and I saw it, but I didn't really get a chance to read it. So, okay, and that's really it. All right. Any questions on any of that? All right. Moving along on the agenda under old business, as uh, Laura mentioned, uh, this first item under that, uh, the select board has uh, formally appointed Eric Baum to our commission. So we're grateful for that. Thank you. Next item, uh, installation of the security cameras. James, how are we doing there? Um, I got the, the various components all put together and I figured tomorrow I have a good window to actually attach it to the building. So should get it up and running tomorrow, I would hope. Okay, it's gonna be chilly. Yeah. It's winter. Yeah. <laughs> okay. We're, uh, well, we're, we're making progress anyway, so. So that's good. All right. Well, thank you for that. So uh, we covered some of these points uh, that are next on the agenda at the last meeting, but just for purposes of documenting them in our minutes, our annual report uh, was submitted to the select board uh, in December. So that's completed. The community garden uh, application form uh, has been submitted for the town clerk to the town clerk, excuse me. And that should be included in the uh, census uh, documents coming out, uh, I guess, later on this month. Uh, the, the community uh, garden rules and regulations uh, have also been submitted for the town clerk. And I guess, James, you're gonna see that both of those documents get put on the website, are you? Yeah. Yeah, I'll do that. Okay. Dave, do you need me to send you a copy? Um, no, I have those. Okay. All right, very good. Thank you for doing that. Uh, our FY, <clears throat> excuse me, our FY24 budget request uh, has been submitted, 1,375. The uh, schedule has come out from meeting with the Finance Committee and things of that nature. Uh, I haven't been called in yet. So uh, our budget was pretty detailed and it's a fairly small amount of money. So perhaps they'll just fly with what we submitted. I can tell you at uh, select board meeting Monday, uh, the TA presented her recommendation on your budget, which was what you recommended and the select board has, uh, approved it to pass on to FinCom. So all right, so those Very two problems have overcome. Very good, thank you for that. Uh, the supplemental report uh, for the grant that we received, the $25,000 grant uh, was submitted by our town administrator uh, to the uh, MDC. Uh, representative who has been dealing with this in the past. So uh, that's in, uh, no feedback yet. Hopefully there won't be any because I don't think there's any need for it. And hopefully they're satisfied with the final report. Next item on the old business, AgCom organization. James, we had asked if you would be willing to take on the chairmanship. Uh oh. And you said you wanted to think about it at the last meeting. Okay. Um, you, you have the floor, sir. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh, yeah, I mean, it seems like something that I, I ought to be able to. Anyway, time commitment wise, I mean, from like May through August. Um, we don't meet in May, so you got to break yeah, there. That's that's the tight part of the year. I know. I know. <laughs> you and I are on the same schedule. Yeah, June and July especially is when we got pick your own going. And, and we so. don't and we don't meet in, we don't meet in July either. Yeah. So it, it, that makes it easier, but other than that, it um usually I have some I have I have time where I could pick up some stuff, so. So you're willing to take that on, Io? Is that what I'm hearing? Yeah. All right. Well, thank you very much. Uh can I suggest uh you uh, start taking the reins over in uh, next month and you and I can go through a transition between now and, and May. Sure, yeah. Okay, so I'd like to make a formal motion uh, that James uh, be appointed to the chairmanship of the uh, AGCOM uh, effective uh, 1 February. 
Can I have a second on that, please? Second. second. Okay. Laura's made a second. Thank you. Is there a need for further discussion on that? All in favor? Aye. 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 Unanimous. Very good. Thank you, James. <laughs> Moving on to. Does somebody have something to say? Sorry. Okay. Moving on to new business. Uh, so we were asked by the select board uh, as to the value for insurance purposes of the items that we have uh, down at the community garden. And I think I distributed to all of you the listing that I had come up with. Uh, which totals, I gave a range for each item and the total range is uh, 23,200 to 27,950 for town property and assets that are located at the community garden. Now, I'd like to also mention that of that value, almost 100% of it in one form or another is derived through either the grant that we got from the state or from donations. Mm -hmm. So that's how we came up with that uh, sum of money uh, for the assets that are down there. So that has been submitted, like I said, to the select board. Uh, I got an acknowledgement that we submitted it and no other feedback, which is fine. So I think we're all set there. Any questions on that? I mean, have any questions? Can you just repeat the numbers in the range because you were cutting out? Sure. Yeah. The range I gave, gave them for uh, the assets for insurance purposes at the community garden are 23,002 to 27,950. Thank you. Okay. So moving on, uh, let's see. Procurement documents for the community garden fencing. So uh, back in the latter part of December, after our December meeting, <clears throat> I had a conversation with uh, Tim Wheeler, who was the chairman of the CPA committee. And he informed me that the uh, committee would be submitting a recommendation near term. I think it's going to be in January or early February. <clears throat> to have a, an article in the May 4th, May 1st, excuse me, uh, town meeting uh, for the purposes of our uh, CPA fencing project with an estimated cost of $45,000. So that being the case, and it's my understanding that with CPA funds, we don't have to wait if it's approved at the town meeting, we don't have to wait till the start of the fiscal year on the 1st of July. Essentially those funds, because they're already in the town coffers, if you will, uh, are basically immediately available once approved uh, for an expenditure by the voters of, of the town. So that in mind, uh, I think it's important that uh, we be prepared to shortly after the town meeting, uh, be prepared to go out and solicit uh, formal quotes from a, a number of uh, potential contractors. So I prepared this procurement package, which was distributed to you all. As I said in the distribution, uh, please do not, excuse me, as I said in the email, please do not make any distribution of these documents because we wanna maintain the integrity of the procurement and we need to wait uh, until this gets formally uh, out on the street for contractors to be bidding on a level playing field. Uh, we're gonna, you're gonna have an opportunity to discuss these documents and in the documents, there's a listing of potential contractors. Please do not mention any of the contractors names specifically at this time. If you wanna comment on a contractor, just say something like, I'd like to say something about the second contractor on the list. Again, we wanna maintain the integrity of the procurement. So let's approach it that way. If you have something to say about a particular contractor. 
So all that being said, uh, the documents uh, consisted, let me just see here, my package. The documents consist of a two page uh, transmittal letter. There's a uh, statement of work. Excuse me, I got the wrong package here. Let me get the right package. There we go. There we go. A uh, two page transmittal uh, letter. Uh, a statement of work, a two page statement of work with two exhibits attached which I didn't distribute to the folks. They're just photos of the uh, fencing at a local garden that we've been using as a reference point. There's an attachment two, which is two certifications. The contractors would have to sign. And there's a contractor's bid list, recommended one, and a community garden uh, sign-in sheet for when we have a site visit. So we all have those documents. Uh, you all have any comments or questions concerning these documents? Oh, I should say also that Deborah and I worked together on this, and uh, she's had an opportunity before this meeting to review and comment on the documents, which she has. So, because she's probably closest to it than anybody else here. So, uh, that being said, again, I'll ask: Do you have? Does anybody have any comments regarding the, these documents? Only that I appreciate you doing it, all those documents, because that's beyond what I understand. <laughs> so I appreciate that. Okay, thank you. All right. Any other comments? Okay, if, I, if uh, you all agree, uh, I will forward this to the town administrator uh, for her review. I will explain just as I did earlier this evening, why we're getting this in now. And I'll be prepared to either meet with her or discuss any aspect of it that she wants over the phone. And hopefully uh, we can be in a position to have a final RFQ package uh, ready to go out the door uh, right after the town meeting on the presumption that the voters will help us once again like they have in the past and approve our request. Okay. Let me just see my notes here. I think I have covered everything on the agenda. Does anybody have any other comments, or complaints or observations? Yes, Deborah. I just have one question and it's in okay. regards to the tiller that is at the um, town highway department. The new 10 horsepower Troy built, yes. Yeah, has it been worked on so that it's ready to go in the spring? Should I ask Fred? I, I know there was, I, I'm, I'm a little bit unclear. There was like a part that wasn't really the part that was supposed to be so there. Yes. So when they took it from my farm where I was storing it until we got things squared away, until we got it assembled and everything, uh, it was up and running, brand new, never used. Uh, there was a strange wire left over. It's like an Ikea set, you know, you get it all <laughs> put together and you end up asking yourself, what are, what are these parts for? <laughs> so there was, there was a wire hanging there, uh, I, forget, I forget who was here that was helping, who put it together at the farm. It was, it was somebody yeah, from- Yeah, two of the gardeners came yeah, over. Yeah, so they put it together. The yeah. So they were here, this was this past summer sometime, I don't remember when. And uh, so they pointed this out and we both looked at the instruction manuals, we looked at everything and we, we couldn't figure it out. We couldn't figure it out. So when it was picked up uh, by the highway department uh, for storage at the highway barn, and again, I don't 
remember the individual's name that did it, but I pointed that out to him. But the unit was running just perfectly fine, <laughs> despite the fact that there was this hanging wire there. So I guess uh, what might be appropriate, Deborah, uh, this is only January. Uh, there shouldn't be anything significantly that needs to be done. And there's no oil change required because it hasn't been used yet. So perhaps uh, maybe in sometime in the mid-March timeframe, either you and I should ask the highway department if, if they got it up and running and ready for use uh, when we'll need it, perhaps in uh, the April timeframe. Okay. Yeah, that was my question. Did you want me to contact Fred and ask him? Um, yeah, if, if, if you don't mind. Schedule to take a look at it. And have it ready perhaps for April. Yeah, you could ask him, I guess you could ask him that at any time. Just point out that we'd like to have it, make sure it's up and running. Uh, yeah, by April, I always I guess. like to let him know ahead of time. Yeah, that's, that he can no, that's schedule it. Yeah, he's busy enough, I'm sure. Yes, he just yeah. took a tree down in front of my house today. So okay. It was a busy day. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> I will do that then. I'll email All right. Him. Yeah. All right. Email him. Could you just CC Kristen? Uh, try and just make sure that she's aware of all the requests being made of, of department heads just to make sure that she doesn't accidentally deprioritize something she shouldn't. Would you say that again, Scott, please? <clears throat> Sorry, if you just CC the town administrator who supervises Fred, just to make okay. sure that she's aware of the various tasks he's on and make sure that things get done and she doesn't accidentally pull him off of this, not knowing that it was something he promised to do. Okay, I can do that. Very good. Any other questions? Concerns? Scott, do you have anything else or? Uh, no, I just I like checking in here and there and, and okay. uh, seeing what's going on. Figured spring is the time where you start doing, or now is the time where you start talking about the community gardens and stuff. So that right. if you point out by the time you get to really spring, May, June, July, you're all doing the agricultural stuff you guys do like when you're not volunteering. So. <laughs> <clears throat> well, thank you for attending this evening, and James, thank you for hosting, and thank you for taking on the chairmanship. I, I really appreciate it. Uh, so you're all going to have to start thinking of uh, another member, fill the vacancy on the, on the board come, uh, come the end of May. So uh, keep that in mind as well. So can I have a motion to adjourn? To adjourn. Okay. Motion's Second. been made by Laura. Motion's been made by, uh, seconded rather, by uh, Deborah. All available? All right. Very good. Thank you. Have a good evening.